The next thing we're going to talk about is how to hide and show. Let's say I'm working with a child and I want to focus on maybe go and stop. And I want to hide everything else so they can see the, the, those two words a little easier or find them easier. Or even see the reason why we're trying to teach that word. They may be perseverating on the last thing you did like eat. So here's how quick you can do that. You start by touching this t setup key or tools key. I always call those two the same thing. But that's really called the, the uh, tools key. Then you hit the setup key. And then you'll get one that says hide and show. You hit hide and show. And then you're going to touch the one that says hide all. And you'll see everything go gray. Now you just touch the ones that you want to work. When you're done, if you make a mistake, just hit it again. Now when you get the ones you want light, lit up, or a little brighter, then you just touch up this whole area up here. You can just touch this text area to get out. So that's how quick it was to hide and show. Now don't forget you have to be able to get it back. So it's actually the same steps. You start by pressing the tools key. You go to setup key. You hit hide and show. And then you do show all. Now the step everybody forgets because everything's showing, you think you're done. So now you go back in and start trying to talk, but now you're turning things off. You have to hit the up here, you have to touch the text area to get out. Now this will be a little more advanced, but let me explain to you why you'd want that last feature. If you, there's Sometimes you have a child who's, you know, first you've color coded and they didn't find it. There's another step you could do is where you'd go in here and you would do hide and show and you'd say show all except for maybe just some of them around it. Then see if the child can do it. So you see how there's a sort of a hierarchy you could go through. And then you might start bringing back a few at a time until they can, until they can do it with everything showing. So now I have to go back in here, go to my setup key, hit my hide and show and do show all, and don't forget to get out. So that's how fast you can use hide and show. And one more advanced thing I want to show you that I really love about Words for Life on the uh, accent line if I want to have a child just work on go and stop, the problem is when I hit the go at the transition level or the full level, I get other words. Go. So I'm going to show you how to make it where they only see one word at both the, the uh, first hit in the transition level and the second half of that word. So here's how it works. I'll go in here, hit my setup key, hit hide and show, hit hide all, and I'll just make the go and maybe the stop work again and I'll say done by touching the text area. Now you see what happens when I touch it though, I get all these options. Go. And I really want them just stop. to see it like that where they just see stop. So look how easy this is. All you do is get to the next page and then start again with your hide and show. And I'll do hide all except for this one. And now, go. Now you might have noticed that the screen is empty here, but remember we almost always promote using a key guard, go. which creates the visual image of the square. Remember, we would not like these floating in space like this because we really do benefit from seeing the grid, knowing it's going to be this hole plus this hole before we begin. All right, that's how you use hide and show. And again, to get it back, you hit the setup key, hide and show, and do show all. And then remember to get out. So practice that, just hiding and showing a whole bunch of times. And remember, if you're wanting to hide on the second icon, if I wanted to get here, and, and then all I would do is touch here, here, hide and show, do hide all and make just the one I want to work work. So now I'd have just that. Remember, add the key guard and that'll look a lot better. All right, hope that helps.